Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are not new here, you will know what this box with the teal on it means. It means we have a thread up unboxing. So um, I have purchased quite a few thread up boxes and most of them are the women's mixed size shoes. Um, I've also gotten a like 25 piece mixed clothing, which was not great. Um, I also just recently got a Thread Up Fun Box, which I did film that and it's up here and I've already made my money back plus profit. Um, so I um, saw that on St. Patrick's Day, which was this past Sunday. Today is Thursday, March 21st. Um, so I believe on the 16th, March 16th, I saw they were doing 30% off their rescue boxes. So I purchased a shoe box. Um, so I got 30% off and then with my Southwest uh, like credit card, um, which we charge most everything to and then just pay it off every week, um, I purchased it and they had a 10% cash back offer. So I actually got 10% off of what I spent. So um, I believe it equaled out to about $4.16 per pair if I'm gonna list all 15 pairs. Um, but I will also put the breakdown here um, of after the discount and then after the cash back, how much I uh, paid. Um, so I am going to open this and set it on the ground so it's easier for me to pull out. But if this box uh, turns out to be a really good box, I think I'm actually gonna order another one because they're doing that same 30% off sale today. Now, this video won't come out the same day, but um, I kinda want to see what this box is gonna look like because it's been a little bit since I've ordered the shoe boxes. And so if it's really good, might order another one and might do another video. So. I'm gonna get this down here and then we'll open it up and see what is inside. All right, so on top came the little invoice. So this one is normally $80, so I got 30% off of that and then 10% cash back and that per shoe uh, pair price of four, 416, I think it was, um, that's gonna be after all of those discounts. So on top here, we have the iconic thread up tissue paper. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pick this pair because it's really cute um, and I've actually sold this brand before. So um, these are adorable. They are the brand Kelsey Dagger Brooklyn. I've sold these before. They have pretty good comps. Um, these look like in really good condition. Let me see if I can see the size. Um, but it may not have a size, and that may be why they did not take it. I don't see one in that shoe. Um, there is some of a sticker here, but it's not the shoe sticker or the size sticker. So yeah, I'm not sure what size it is, um, but we'll have to see. But these are really cute. I don't mind measuring the shoe. They're kind of an espadrille leopard, not leopard print, uh, like leopard coloring. Um, pointed toe flats and these are kind of like stretchy um up top so happy about those all right these are probably going to be straight donate um or i might take them to buy sell trade or something like that like consignment um but these are just some little heels they are the brand impo which i think is sold at like dillard's or something like that um they do have a leather insole. They do look pretty in pretty good shape. They're a size eight and they're the face style, but I don't think I'll list these unless there's some market for them. And if so, I'll put a note down here. Ooh, these are kind of cute. They are a pair of pink with like tulle ruffle uh, heels. They are the brand Betsy Johnson. I don't think I've ever sold any of her shoes before. There is just some dirt, but I'm sure I can get that cleaned up. Bottoms look in good condition. These are an eight and a half and they're the Mia style. So I will put comps, um, note comps up here somewhere. These are in pretty good shape. Not bad at all. Uh, just may need a little bit of a cleaning, so. Okay. These um, will probably also go to buy, sell, trade. 
Um, they're in good condition, just not something that I would typically wear, uh, wear, sell. They are GBG Guess, size six and a half, so relatively smaller size, just a little pair of sandals. <clears throat> okay, we have a pair of boots. These, um, let's see here if I can see a brand name. Oh, they're Echo. They don't have a size on there. Oh, they're size 38. So I think that's what, about a seven to eight, something like that. Um, they're cute. I'll see what, what comps look like. Um, there is a little bit of dirt on this kind of more leather back piece here. Um, but yeah, not bad. All right, so unless these just have amazing comps, which I'm guessing they don't, I will also be um, donating these. <laughs> They're called La Forced. Um, they kind of remind me of Tom's with the way that they look. They have little frogs on the back of them that say slip resistant. They do have a slip resistant sole. However, on the inside, there are, like the fabric has um, torn. So probably that's going to be a donate. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, these... Uh, they're cute. Um, they have this like embossed design here, um, but there is no brand whatsoever and it has major wear to the tread. They are size 36, um, but my guess is something pretty cheap. So that will be a donate as well. These are the brand Laura. Um, they're like a just a pair of heels. I'm trying to see if I can see. They are, uh, well, nothing's in English, so I don't know um, if it's leather or not. I'm trying to see if I see even the size, but they're not in the best condition, unfortunately, and I don't see a size. So I'll have to do some more digging, but they have a lot of wear to this fabric up here. Um, and this is the brand, um, and a lot of wear to the bottom of the heel, but let's see. Um, purely based off of how it's going right now, I probably won't buy another one, but we'll see. Um, this is a good brand that I like to pick up occasionally. It's Diane von Furstenberg. They are size 11 and they're like, kind of like a gladiator wedge sandal. Um, they have this leopard cheetah print. Um, I'm going to assume this is fur of some sort. Certainly feels like it. Um, but they're made in Brazil, size 11. Here's the other one. In decent condition. Not like new condition, but they're cute. Okay. A pair of Aldo, which I believe is like a mall, a store in the mall. Um, pair of like espadrille wedges. These are size seven. They are made in Brazil. Um, this part right here might be suede, um, but that is what they look like. Bottoms look in pretty good condition. So we'll see if those have any value. If not, the ones that are in good condition, but not worth me reselling, I'm gonna take to consignment or whatever. Um, these are gorgeous. <laughs> Look at those. They remind me, um, and not in a bad way, but like of like a grandma quilt or something or like an old couch. <laughs> I love them. Um, they do zip on the side, but then they have this lace detail here. Nothing on the bottom though, but these look almost in brand new condition. And I'd almost even say they're new because they still have this piece in here, but let's get this out so we can see a brand. Okay, I'm not seeing the brand. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything in that one. Let me get the other one out and see what's going on there. They're really cute and they, they feel decent, like decently made. Um, but I don't see 
I don't see any sort of branding on the inside here. It's just that same floral print. So they are size 41. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research. If I find out anything about them, um, I'll make sure to put it down here. All right, just a couple more. Have a pair of tennis shoes that are in not great condition and they're just sport shoes. <laughs> um, again, maybe, maybe uh, buy, sell, trade. Um, and then the insoles are kind of coming out a little bit, so they feel kind of like cheaper. All right, another pair of sandals. These are the Soda Comfy brand. Um, these will be going to consignment, buy, sell, trade, size seven. All right, we have some Stuart Weitzman. Um, these were made in Spain. I know some Stuart Weitzman shoes can do decent, but I just don't know what makes what makes them valuable versus what doesn't. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a size, <laughs> so I don't know. But they kind of have this like uh, black and brown kind of um, print to it. I think it's like patent leather or something like that. Um, little loafers. All right, I think this is the last pair, so hopefully it's something good. <laughs> okay, um, size 37. Other than that, nothing on the bottom. They zip on the inside, so let's see what we can find here. <laughs> These are very interesting. Um, I don't see a brand on these either. Um, does she and make shoes? I feel like this is something they would they would have. It's like a very plasticky material, almost like a rain raincoat. Um, and then there's a little bit of a wedge on the back here. Um, but I don't know why she would have that sort of sizing, but I don't, I don't know. These don't feel amazing, but okay, I'm gonna count them up and see how many I think that I will be selling on my own. And then I'll come back with the final numbers. All right, so I did have a total of 15, not the best box. Um, I think honestly my favorite pair or the pair that I think will bring the most are the Kelsey Dagger uh, little slides. Um, but I am curious to see what these are because they feel like they're they're good quality. I just can't see a brand on it, but I could be totally wrong. Um, they could be cheap. So excited to see what these are, but I think I will only list four to five pairs because um, some of them are in really bad condition. Some of them don't have a brand um, and yeah. So I probably won't order another one today unless, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And to all my current subscribers, thank you guys so much for being loyal and staying around and watching videos and things like that. I am trying to get my watch hours up. I'm very close to getting uh, like monetized and everything, which would be very exciting um, when that happens. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.